Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. It is Wednesday and I am doing my video for December Daily for December 19th. Today's entry includes the 18th and the 19th because yesterday's December Daily was uh, the items that I found and shared um, as far as clothing that I bought secondhand and I love to shop that way. So let me just go ahead and show you. I did get away from the pink, just so you know. And oh, look how big this book is getting. It's crazy. I'm gonna put something under here to lift this page up a tiny bit. So I love this spread and I will go ahead and tell you because I have so few pages left and because the book is getting so thick, Today's entry is the 18th and 19th, and I will probably tomorrow include the 20th on this page, whether it's a small flip out or just whatever. I want the book to be really full and really chunky, but I don't want it to be overly so. I know you can get to the point where it's just ridiculous. And I've done journals like that, and they're fun. Um, but for this one, I want it to be able to sit on a shelf. It's not a flow journal. It's not something that I would pull from and use things. This is a permanent journal for my collection. This spread today was completely inspired by a vintage library card that says the symbolic goldfinch. So I started thinking about goldfinches. I did not realize, I had never noticed, that the European goldfinch is in a lot of old paintings of the Madonna and um, the Christ child or John the Baptist holding a goldfinch. I had never noticed that. And I didn't really know that the European goldfinch is quite different from our American goldfinch. I printed this beautiful old postcard of the American goldfinch very bright, so much yellow, and I think a lot of us are familiar with these. I used to leave um, all of the plants in my garden, I would let them go to seed, things like thistle and um, sunflowers and things to attract the goldfinches, dill, different plants like that. There's old lace around here, um, stamping, and um, gesso mixed with blue paint just to make a wash for the page. This is actually um, a print of one of the old paintings that I'm talking about. And here the Christ child is holding a European goldfinch. Um, that goldfinch has a red face and there's some white around that. And I printed this little piece of information from Wikipedia. It says, because of the thistle seeds it eats, in Christian symbolism, the goldfinch is associated with Christ's passion and his crown of thorns. I have totally learned something from doing this page. I, I just didn't know that. And I had never noticed that. Um, shows you how little attention I pay sometimes when I'm looking at something. Um, here's a piece of just beautiful fabric that I have, the dragonfly. I love that green and how it ties in. This is a piece of handmade paper that I found recently. And just look, it is rich with texture. I stamped the 19th here. I stamped 12, 18, 18 here. And here's a beautiful old postcard of the European goldfinch. You can see the red face and a little bit of yellow. It says, a Merry Christmas to you, which ties right in with the December daily. My journal entry for um, today and yesterday is in this little sheet of paper. Underneath there is um, a piece of paper towel that I used in cleaning up some of the mess that I made and I love the colors that ended up in it. So I just um, used some Mod Podge to attach that to the page. I sewed this vintage millinery or floral florist leaf onto the library card. I did scan that card and I will put that in the Facebook group so that you can have access to that. And if anybody has printed anything from the Facebook group and it wasn't the kind of quality that you need to be able to print, please let me know. I am hoping that 
the size of the image and the quality of the image is the same from my computer to Facebook, to the Facebook group. So any feedback on that is certainly welcome. I love this old card. I put this in the Facebook group today. That's an old, it's called Portrait of a Young Lady um, by Agnolo Bronzino. It's Italian from the 1500s and I just love that. I thought the color tied in beautifully. The gold headband and the gold and the necklace and her hair of course so very pretty and there's just you know things that's a vintage from a, a bobbin a little spool of thread and that was the label on it you can see pieces of lace that were stapled on there's lace here there is a beautiful piece of um, thread or ribbon that I have a larger spool. I'm going to put some of that in some packs that I'm working on. There are some safety pins that have tiny little blue beads on them. I hope you can see that. I put this beautiful blue trim into place with the safety pins and then glued it down under the flowers and I just I left those because I really like those there. You can see some vintage music under here. I love this trim. This is I think it's some kind of trim that you use when you're making um, curtains or blinds maybe because you can, it's got these little rings periodically along the trim and I guess you could run something through it in order to be able to pull and lift a blind. I, I'm not sure, but I loved it to be able to attach a little charm to this page. And this is a vintage bird from a calendar. It's not a goldfinch. Uh, it just, I loved the yellow, so I cut, I traced around it. First I cut the bird out, and then kind of traced around it to get the size and made the cloth a little bit bigger. I took two pieces of cloth and distressed them, and first I sewed the little bird onto one piece of the cloth. And then I sewed the two pieces of cloth together, leaving a big enough opening for a cotton ball that I had pulled apart for stuffing and it's so neat. I took the cotton ball and I sprayed it with this um, really nice um, body spray that I have. It's, it's, um, it's a Bath and Body Works, but it's a floral sort of thing, so it ties in perfectly with the page. So I stuffed that cotton ball in there and then finished sewing it up and used some trim to make a little, um, a little um, hanger or whatever to hang it from this this little plastic loop. I think that's everything about this page. Anyway, we're getting right down to it. There's just a few pages left and we will be done with December. So I'm saying I'm gonna have to use one page per day for the duration. And I'm gonna have to keep them kind of flat because look at this, guys. This journal is so awesome. It's so wonderful. Some of the earlier pages might have been a little flatter. I've gone crazy for the last week. So I've got some really thick pages right in here and that's okay. Um, I like it, but yeah, I love this journal. This journal is everything I wanted and then some. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time. Bye.